So I've been trying to fish, but this is what's been happening within those attempts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it up. I'm going to go ahead and do some sturgeon fishing either this weekend or next weekend to hopefully get you guys some fishing videos out. In the meantime, to get some footage out there, I'm going to go ahead and do some tackle uh, videos. Uh, today I'm going to do something uh, on my soft plastics and just show you guys how I store those. So to start off, I'll start off with plastic bins. Um, I only have two plastic bins now. I uh, got them at Walmart, really cheap. I think it was only like a few dollars. I actually had a really nice one that it felt like it was a little bit more durable um, for only like a few dollars more. Most likely with everything else I have, I will be eventually probably going into the uh, plastic bends. Um, reason being is as far as when you want to dive into them, it just seems so much easier to get what you want. Reason why I state that is this one's starting to get a little bit over, uh, overflown with baits. But like for this one here, I have frogs, lizards, and then also Gary Yamamoto's creatures. So let's say I wanted an actual frog, uh, Stanley's top toad, black or whatever color. I'm going to shuffle through them, see the actual lure, and then also possibly be able to see the label for uh, color if I can identify the color for whatever purpose it is. But very cheap and affordable. And um, you know, as long as you get the right size to fit the actual width, of the plastic you know these things are really nice now some of the other methods I have you can't fit as many of them but as far as to dive right into them and find what you need this has so far been the best method that I've found so far so this is just really cheap and effective uh, plastic bins found at Walmart and there's various other places you can find them but I definitely like using these to store my uh, soft plastics so once again, in this one, I have my frogs, lizards, and then I just did the Gary Yamamoto creatures in there. Um, this one here is nothing but all my brush hogs from Zoom and my V&M baby swamp hogs. And I also have a few full-size swamp hogs in there as well. For, uh, I'm sorry, brush hogs from Zoom. Cheap, affordable, easy to dig into to find what you need. Um, other ways I store my soft plastics is in the gallon uh, size Ziploc bags. So, I have a bunch of them in here, and as far as the gallon Ziploc bags and some of these other bags I'll be showing you, I have them stored just in a, a large box. So, like for me to bring them upstairs from the garage, I was able to just grab the whole box and bring them up here um, just to show you. Or let's say if you have a boat from your garage to the deck of your boat, and be able to shuffle through them. But, uh, I got broken down as far as no specific type of lure just all of my night lures as far as plastics are concerned all of my flukes I also got uh, categorizing the big bite baits warm out as flukes so I have those in in there as well uh, this one here is all my grubs and tubes and then this one here is all my swimming flukes so from V&M's what is it Thunder Shad uh, I got the Zoom swimming flukes in various different sizes some Kitex uh, tried out the Missile brand of swimming flukes and also Reaction Innovation Skinny Dippers and Skinny Dipper Juniors um, as far as putting them in bags, so let's see here. Different types of bags you have, what you can find at your tackle shops, your plain old soft plastic bags. And then also I have this here, which is a military admin bag. It's um, just something also I store my plastics in. So as far as organizational uh, wise, what I have in this one here is nothing but V&M J-Bugs. So, I have all my J-Bugs in there. This bag's getting a little short. And all my favorite colors and then some different colors that I want to try out. And then within those different colors, as far as uh, easy accessibility, easy accessibility, yes. 
but when I want to reach in there and there's a certain color I want, a lot of times I'm going to have to pull them out or dump them out just to get that exact one and then shove them all back in there. But it is definitely nice to condense all these, uh, these particular plastics down and to have them consolidated into one spot just for it to be real easy for me to find the VNM J boat. Uh, the smaller one, this could be a small, this could be a medium, I'm not really sure, but it's the Plano Elite soft plastic bag. Um, same as the admin tackle bag there. Uh, if, you're, if you have a lot of different colors or different brands, um, you're going to have to yank them all out so you find the one you want or dump them out and whatnot and then put them back once you, once you find what you want. Uh, this one here, I know what's in it. It's all my stick baits and Cinco's. So as far as coloration or length, um, I'll just have to dig through there until I find which one I want. Once again though, it keeps them all consolidated and condensed down into one spot. So if I want a Cinco, I go straight for this bag, pull out which one I want. Um, this bag here, same thing as what I was mentioning with the other two bags, but this one here, just to let you know what I have in it, is like all of my, all my plastic uh, worms. Um, so you can see on the top here, I got some Robo Worms, Grande Bass, Z-Man, and what's this one, Power Bait. But uh, even though those are sitting on the top, probably 98% of this bag is filled with Zoom Worms. I'm a huge fan of, of Zoom brand as far as the worms are concerned. Uh, my three favorite worms to throw is two different sizes of the Zoom Trick Worm. Uh, Zoom's Magnum Trick Worm and the Zoom Old Monster Worm. Um, so as you can see here, if you can see it in the peripheral of the video, all of these are all consolidated in actual some sort of bag or Ziploc bag and then stowed in a box. And a box is another method I use and let me grab it real quick. And as far as once you want to dive into it and actually finding them, kind of like with the plastic bands and just shuffle through them. I have all my crawl baits in here. So all my Strike King uh, Rage Tails, uh, Strike King KBDs, uh, v &M Wild Crawls, and then a miscellaneous, some miscellaneous other brands up here in the front that I'm just trying out to see if I like, such as Net Bait, Power Bait, uh, UV Tight Lines, and Berkeley Havocs. Um, and then off to the side, I got all my Zoom Z crawls and chunks and miscellaneous other crawl baits in there. But this is how I store all of my excess plastic. Um, if it's not in my uh, bank, bank fisherman bag, whatever you want to call it, or within my kayak, this is where I stow it all. And then whenever I need to resupply, uh, find a particular location that has a, a preference for a certain color or if it's changing seasons where I want less appendages, I might go to those trick worm Cinco's. This is where I'll go to to uh, switch out my baits within my kayak. And then once again, it's just all like as is stored on a shelf in my garage, just off to the side and out of the way. But for those of you who are trying to figure out how you wish to store your soft plastics, hopefully this helps you out. Thank you guys. Have a good day.